Hey boss, have you checked on my song settings? Wait, you can choose the song that you sing during a mission? Yep. Once I sing a song for the first time, you can pick that song whenever you want. Whenever I come up with a new song though, I'm gonna sing that one no matter what. Gotta prioritize the new stuff, right? You can even turn all the songs off if that's what you're in the mood for. Don't worry, I don't mind. That reminds me, Lola. I was wondering. What's up? Overdrive mode still activates even when all of your songs are turned off. Isn't that supposed to be the power of song? Huh. Yeah, what's up with that? The song was in your heart all along! That's gotta be it! Hello everyone, Luke Leaper here, and we're back with another Luminous Avenger X2 gameplay. Last time, we tackled the passage to Upper Stratum, and we somehow made it with an A at the end. Uh, four A's I believe in a row. Hmm, not bad. Now it's time to enter a new area and tackle the laboratory block. I'm a bit nervous with this one because from what I remember this was a lot more difficult when I got, when I reached here so let's hope we survive let's start the mission I'm surprised there isn't any dialogue here. These enemies, they have gears on their heads. You if you you can't dash into them, by the way. If you do, they'll just end up hurting you. So the only way to kill them. But how do you what's the what's another word for it? The only way to ah, I can't think of it. So these wheels, use your razor wheel to let it spin. And here's your first bonus emblem. Pretty simple for this level. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Remember when I said that you need specific weapons? This is one of them. I can't access through there because that way is blocked off to me. And I need to destroy that box with a specific EX weapon. So we have to go this way. Okay. Okay. Good to go. Yeah. Good to go down there. Ah, uh, just extra these. Bad. I. Please, I just want to get out. What? There we go. Please, why did it take me so? No. You're... Oh. Oh my god, these things. I hate those things. I can't believe I forgot about those. Yeah, this is one of the many things I hate about this level. But these! You need to... They would just keep on doing that, so we just have to destroy them. And I remember the, the bonus emblem is here. There's a second bonus emblem here. Actually, no, I don't think I can access it. Like, at this point. Yeah. Oh, please. Can I kill this? <laughs> yeah, this level is what I struggle with the most. And I accidentally touched the two point. That wasn't what I was supposed to do. Or what I wanted to do. Yeah, now this way I can't go that way. So I have to continue with wherever I'm going. I believe I might be lost. Yeah, this whole place is a freaking maze. 
<laughs> the laboratory block is probably one of the most... It's a good level, it's just tedious. For me, I think. I can't access through here. None of the weapons I have work! Okay. And then the those things that would just shoot me. I can hit it. You don't have to, like, kill them, actually. I'm just doing that for kudos. boss room this mini boss oh wait oh god it's this one uh you so what you want to aim for is the one with the light on it that's what you want to aim for so this enemy is simple you just need to aim at the light do that, then you're good. You can also do that, the ASIAC. Oh, please, make it. <laughs> so I just need to kill one more. Oh, please. Okay. I was so worried it was gonna fire another one. But we made it. Mini boss conquered. And here's the first hexapile. We move on to the second part of the level. So these enemies, the bump, the pretty much the bumpers. They don't actually. They can still hurt you. And then there are these. Oh god. Wait. This is the one love part I'm worried actually, because there's a possible chance. I may end up dying. So I'm trying my best to be careful. Like, actually careful here. Because I'm afraid I would die. Oh, hey, I got my health back. Now, the third uh, bonus emblem. How did that not count? Okay, the third bonus emblem is up here. Oh, please. Oh, God, we made it, we made it, we made it. We're out. We are boys. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna chance that. Oh, what do you believe? Oh, why? So the last bonus emblem, by the way, is up here, but I can't get it because the X weapon is needed. Oh, this level is actually stressful. <laughs> I hate this level. It, look, no, I'm not saying it's a bad level, it's a good level. I just hate the gimmicks here. Oh? Here for a fight, are you? I should have figured you'd come here after defeating my little sister. 
Little sister? I'm Autochrome. Vespa, the one you so brazenly took down, is my sister craft. Siblings, huh? You must be looking for revenge. Hardly. I'm sure she's already being repaired as we speak. I have no need for revenge. However, I still have a mission to carry out. Eliminating intruders like you. Time to get to work. Meet the gravekeeper of the laboratory block. Autochrome. This guy is probably the one boss I don't like fighting. He... Well, one of the bosses I don't like fighting. Because just... Him in general... He's just really hard to dodge. Like, he's so hard for me to dodge. Uh, I was like that. There you go, Vespa. I avenged you. Well, now we and know what he I said. There's no need for revenge. Guess I'm not one to talk. They actually do say something when you when you when they fail you, but still, ah. See, I really hate how Autochrome is just. He's so difficult for me to dodge, and I, I just like he's a cool character. Not gonna lie, but god dang, it just it is just so annoying. <laughs> Okay. Over here. Please die. Not too shabby. Okay. I'm actually sweating here. Oh, this part. I bounced off the wall though. Okay. Oh, this one. So he's gonna throw these at you, and if they lock onto you, he's gonna shoot a homing attack. Let's see coming from. Okay. I'm stressed. I'm actually stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed fighting this guy. Here I come. Okay. I'll end you. All right. All right. That's what you're supposed to do. I tried to jump over that. Oh, he's doing it again. I'll end you. Oh. Like, I am so stressed! Just can't fall. Oh god, this one. Okay. This is his special skill. There are gonna be two of these, and they're gonna fire twice for each of them. And then I have to go up here. Please stop hit me. <laughs> Autochrome is one of the most intimidating bosses I've ever fought. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh my god, what? That one is actually hard for me to dodge. Oh, he's doing this again? Okay. Come on. No! Please! I really don't want to lose to him twice. Please! God, look at how much health he took from me. Like... Jeez! Okay, kill him! <laughs> I wanna be done with this. I'll be for real here. As much as I'm not very proud of my performance, but the game says otherwise, that has actually been the very first time I've seen a dialogue. 
when the boss ends up defeating you. That is the very first time I've seen dialogue from the boss if he defeated you. So I'm kind of actually proud that I found that because I never knew that I never knew he said anything if you if he ends up defeating you. And it actually also shows that he cared for Vespa, even though like he's just like she's just a sister craft. Oh, quite the brother. But hey, if I get an A rank from this despite my performance, I'll take it. Not bad, not bad at all. We get the black key and optic barrier. Fascinating technology. The grave keepers might be using a special frame, but generally workers are all made the same way. They're all so stubborn, going on about their missions and stuff. They aren't like you at all, though. Oh my. I'm afraid that's because I'm the odd one. <gasps> but you're such a sweetheart, no? Nothing odd about you. That's not true. I'm just a faulty product. Faulty product? I don't get it. Whenever a worker is created, whether it's in the lab or a factory, they are given a mission. However, when I was created, an error occurred and I never received one. Faulty products like me are supposed to be disposed of immediately, but an odd stranger and his comrades saved me from that fate. They called me No and took care of me, even though I could never be of any use to them. No. Because you don't have a mission? When my parents named me that, they said that since I was no one. I could become anyone. Unlike the other workers, I had limitless possibilities before me. My name was a symbol of their hope for me. But in reality, all I do is worry. What could a faulty product like me ever hope to become? No. Oh my, I'm sorry. I shouldn't blubber on like that. No, no, it's fine. You can talk to me about your worries anytime you want. If you're a faulty product, then... I guess I'm like the human version of that. You too? Yep. Me and all my friends back home were raised as a group of outcasts. But Copen came and saved us. And now... Thanks to my sister keeping us safe, everyone's living happily. That's why I'm going to be there for you every step of the way. Hopin and Lola will be too. Isn't that right? Of course. If you want a mission, I can program you for it. Thank you, Copen. But I'm okay for now. I'd like to take a bit more time to search for my mission on my own. Besides, that's what the workers who raised me would have wanted. I see. Guess I was a bit out of line. Not at all. Should I be unable to find it on my own, I'll gladly take you up on your offer. Check out this sofa! It's super comfy! Parallel worlds are amazing! I may be new to this, but please feel free to request anything of me. Oh, yes! I'll get right on that! Huh. That was a bit deep. But yeah. And hopefully that no finds a purpose. Sooner or later. But that's it. 
laboratory block taken down. And it's a shame that we couldn't get the uh, half of the bonus emblems, but we'll be able to do it. I'll actually show it to you, possibly later on, actually. Because the next block we're going to be tackling is the industrial block. This is the this is where we can actually get actually no. I'll leave it up to you to think about it. But other than that, that's it for this gameplay. I'll see you all later. Farewell. That should wrap up your maintenance. Do you have any issues moving around? Oh my goodness! My locomotion is smoother than ever! Your maintenance skills are truly amazing! I always thought humans would be good at maintenance since they are the ones who made us. Guess I was right? Some are, some aren't. For example, Gohaku did maintenance on my eye once. And I could only see her as a sprite for a while. I still can't figure out how she pulled that off. It's an unsolved mystery. Come on, guys! Enough with that already! We already apologized a bajillion times! Um, Sprite? What is that? An image made using dots. It's like a picture in video game terminology. They're also known as pixel art. A long time ago, video games had to use many dots and a small variety of colors to represent characters and backgrounds. As technology advanced, they became less common since developers had more options, but pixel art continued to exist as a stylistic choice. Oh, wow. You're so knowledgeable, Copen. Isn't it common knowledge? Hmm. I guess it wouldn't be.